Aloha and welcome back to Living It Await. I know spring is just around the corner because the Butterfly House is back at Pearl Ridge Center. <laughs> That's right. The Butterfly House is a great opportunity for folks to see the life cycle of these beautiful creatures. John has details in today's Savvy Shopper. We are at the butterfly exhibit at Uptown Pearl Ridge, joined by Tom and Darlene. Now, Tom, your title here, because you, you're the uh, you're the guy who's made this all happen. Yes, uh, this is the butterfly exhibit. Uh, we've been doing it here since 2013, and actually, we've been doing it for 17 years. And so, what we found are butterflies are a great thing to come out and learn about. It's springtime, so come on out. There are a lot of butterflies flying around. How much work does it take to put on something like this? You would be amazed at how many different teams it takes to actually pull all of this together. When you come down, you see all the beautiful artwork and the design that's here. Uh, uh, to get the message out, we have educational sides of it. We have over 1,500 school group kids that are coming through on field trips, meet national curriculum standards. And we have people like Darlene who have a whole team of 16 people who do nothing but help grow butterflies. Nurseries bring in plants. It's quite, it's quite a bit of work. Okay, that was my next question as the butterflies fl fly all around us. Uh, where do the butterflies come from? Well, they are definitely all local. As we all know, you can't really bring anything like that onto the island. And so we've been working for years. Our first year, we really had to work hard to, to bring it together. And then we came across Darlene, and I've worked with her over the last several years. And we now have an official commercial butterfly growing operation on the island that uh, Darlene's put together. And again, she's got 16 local people. So this is not only local butterflies, but we've helped create a local business that, that serves local. This is an exciting time. I mean, this is uh, it's great for everybody who walks through here, huh? Uh, you know, the faces for people when they walk through it, and the, the kids is just priceless. And, and everybody who comes through here gets to see every stage of the butterfly from the very beginning to them flying around. Yes, exactly. It's We have the caterpillars here. We've got the chrysalises there. And then all the butterflies flying around. This really is up close and personal. And I noticed that folks are holding little uh, Q-tips, what looks like pink Q-tips. Tell me what those are. They are feeding sticks so that people can feed butterflies in the butterfly house. They really are up and up and close because they're flying all around the place. Yes, and, and lots of times the butterfly will land on people just to say hi. So I see different colors of what looks to be the same butterfly. Can you tell me what species we have here? Yes, they are all monarch butterflies. On the 24th, though, we're going to have Dr. Will Haynes come and talk about the Kamehameha butterflies. He will bring butterflies and caterpillars and will be outside to answer all the questions that people have. A great opportunity for folks to come in, get educated a little bit about butterflies, and it is really neat because they can fly and land right on your shoulder. How long is this going to? Uh, the butterfly house will be here through April 8th, but between now and Easter, we also have the Easter Bunny. So come on out. You can get some Easter photos. Uh, experience the butterflies. We have craft activities, puzzles, interactive games. It's a great afternoon for the family. You can learn, be up close to the butterflies, and have a great time. Tom, Darlene, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Alan. I love this love exhibit. It. You're familiar with it, too. Yes, yes. Butterfly on my shoulder. <laughs> it's a song, you know. It's a reggae song. Is it? Yeah, it is. John uh, looked mm -hmm. a little nervous there, but he I'm did. glad he got over his fear yeah. and let the butterfly land on but his shoulder. But I think shoulder. I got something to do on Sunday with my granddaughter. Yay. Bailey Rose, we're going to go see the butterfly and the Yay. bunny. Good. Yeah. I'd like to hear Pretty that. Pretty cool. All right. Coming up on Living 808, we head back to Hawaii's Kitchen.